So I made some good updates to the brands to ASINs Finder, which automatically finds ASINs for a list of brands that you provide. And also in combination with the Seller Assistant App Restrictions Checker, will tell you which brands you are approved to sell or not approved to sell. So now the process of using this has not really changed. It just works better than it did before. And also it allows you to choose a region where before it only worked with amazon.com. Now it can work with other regions as well. And if you, if you have another region that you want it to work with, let me know. It shouldn't be, it's not hard for me to add regions the way that I have the system structured now. It was difficult with the original structure, but the way it's structured now, I can do it quite easily. So um, what I will do first of all is show you how you get the brands in here. And basically, if you have a list of brands, I mean, you're going to need a list, first of all. So I do have a Zorro.com list as an example, and I'm working to provide more of these lists, but here goes one from Zorro. And if I do control shift down, I can select all of the brands. So this is in a Google Sheet, so I can just copy and paste it, right? I can simply copy this list and just paste it over here, paste special values. But if you have an actual CSV file, which is a list of brands, then you can go to the brand CSV and use file import, as I've demonstrated in many other videos, upload, select a file from your device, select the file, select replace current sheet, and you can put the CSV in here. If you do that, then you can use the copy brand CSV. But the brands must be in the first column, right? So basically the CSV would look like this. I'll just create one right now. All right, so if you're going to import from a CSV, this is how it would have to look. All right. Um, you'd have brands at the top or whatever title you have at the top, and then you'd have all the brand names going down. So those are your two options for getting the brands into the list. Now, once you have a list of brands, um, you would go ahead and choose the region. Of course, these brands come from a supplier, which is Zorro, which I know is a U.S. supplier. And so I'm working with the U.S. right now. So I'm going to leave that on U.S. Click Get ASINs. We'll start to get ASINs from the current row. Okay, and it will try to go ahead and find ASINs based on that, as you can see. And that's what it's doing right now. So it's going through and finding ASINs. So one thing you will notice with this version, 1.1 versus 1.0, is that it is finding ASINs more consistently on brands where before a lot of times it would do a few brands, then it would skip some brands and do some others because the search engines were, I didn't have as many search engines. But uh, with the new auto sourcing library I created, which I've been gradually incorporating that into my uh, system updates, you will find that now that I'm using eight search engines as of the date of this video, that you're going to get more results because there are more search engines working on the uh, searches. Okay, you have more data, so you have more res potential results. Okay, so these are all ASINs that go with these different brands. Now, it is not the purpose of the system to find every ASIN on Amazon because this. Finding the ASINs is really more about this. It's about finding the restrictions on those ASINs. And once we find out the restrictions on those ASINs, we know the restriction on the brand because the ASINs come from that brand. All right, so that is how this basically works. So now I could let this run, but it could take a while. So I am going to, uh, for this video, just cancel this process right now. And I'm just going to work with what I have in front of me. Now, the other um, thing is I have the generate ASINs list, which is same thing I had before but now it works much faster when you click generate ASINs list you're going to see that the um, list is pretty much instant where before it was gradually writing the ASINs down checking each one by one now it's immediately just going to drop a whole list of ASINs for you okay just right away just like that so it's going to read all of these in bulk and drop them. Now, um, once you've done that, you can take these ASINs and bring them over to this Seller Assistant App restric Restrictions Checker. And by the way, if you're not using Seller Assistant App, I do have a link, and you do get a deal through my link, which is in the description of this video, 
So I encourage you to sign up on Seller Assistant app. It does a lot more than this. This is just one thing that it does. But uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and select all these ASINs. Control Shift Down on the keyboard is how I did that. Okay, Control Shift Down. Right click, copy, or Control C. And now I will paste these ASINs. Now, of course, we have the word null in here as well a few times, but basically most of these are ASINs, right? Now we will give it a description. I'm going to put Zorro brands. Okay, and then upload. And you select the marketplace, Amazon.com, right? Or whatever your marketplace is going to be. And you can see I've done this a number of times before. So these are others that I've done before. Okay, status is created. They send you an email when it is um, actually done but you can also refresh to see status processed so the restriction checker results are now ready i will click on download to download that file it is an excel file it's not a csv which i wish it was a csv it would make more sense but it's not so once you've downloaded the file which is in an excel format that's kind of an issue because I won't be able to go to restriction CSV and use file import and import it into the sheet if it's in Excel format. It needs to be a CSV. Now, you don't have to have Excel on your computer. All you need to do is go to your Google Drive. And I did create a new folder, which you could do yourself by going to new folder. And I created a new folder on my drive, but you don't have to do that. Um, but if you do create a new folder, you can then keep these files in this particular folder. And uh, what you would do then is upload the file in here. Okay, in fact, I can do right click, file upload into this new folder. And here is the file restriction data Zorro. Okay, that's what I called it. And I'm going to open that file into my Google Drive. Right now, I mean, ideally, I should rename this folder so I can remember what it is. And I'll put restrictions or brand uh, brand restrictions uh, Excel files, okay, if you want to call that. Okay. To remind you that, it's in an, that the files are in an Excel format. Right? Once you have it in this Excel format, um, you can then or rather once you have it uploaded to Google Drive you can open the file in Google Drive right you can open Excel files in Google okay so this is an important thing to remember so even though you don't have Excel on your computer you can still open the file in Google now you have a restriction data CSV but since it's already in a Google sheet there's no point in using the file import function Okay, rather what I'm going to do is take all of this, select A, click on A, you can kind of drag the mouse over to select A and B, right click copy to copy all of that data, go back to copy of brands ASINs finder, right click and paste, and you can paste the uh, restrictions data into this restriction CSV. Okay, so it says CSV because it's in that kind of format that is like a CSV file format. Okay, so that is the process of getting the data from the Cell Assistant app restriction checker into the Google Sheet. Now, once you have that, immediately the formulas are already in place, and what they do is they go in and they look for these ASINs that are on the sheet with those brands and it it says well let me see how many of the ASINs that we found from the brand require approval and let's see how many I'm allowed to sell because uh, sometimes you do find within a brand that there are ASINs you can sell and there are ASINs that you can't sell even though they are the same brand because remember there's brand but there's also category okay there's categories as well uh, to keep in mind and, and other things right other reasons why they might be restricting you okay uh, there might also be a condition restriction where you can sell in one condition but not another new but not used or used but not new 
right? So um, you will then have to look at them. But basically, if I see approvals required um, on zero of the ASINs, and then I see that eight of these ASINs I'm allowed to sell. Okay, let's take this brand. Right, it's got zero approval required zero. So zero ASINs require approval. Eight ASINs I'm allowed to sell from the ASINs that I found. Okay, so pretty good chance when I check into this brand, I'm gonna see that I have full approval to sell this brand. Right? That is pretty much the way you use this. Some are split here. We've got four and five, right? So you have to then check into it to see. But this is going to give you a much better idea of where you have your approval. Um, which brands are giving you approval. If you see a brand where uh, zero is allowed, where allowed to sell zero. Okay, let's take the other side of it. Well, there was only one ASIN found. Okay, so keep that in mind. But here you found four ASINs. You were allowed to sell zero of those ASINs. So you know, pretty good chance that this is a brand that you can't sell, right? So you're still, you can still do further investigation from here, but this is going to bring you a lot closer to know what, look, zero allowed to sell out of eight. eight. Eight require approval. All eight of them require approval. Okay, so basically, um, I would say this is a brand that I'm not approved to sell. Okay, so I had to sign into my Amazon seller account. I wasn't signed in and get to this catalog page under catalog add products on seller central and once you're in here you can then take the actual brands okay for instance this one says zero right in fact let's start with a good one meaning that i'm allowed to sell it right 10 i'm allowed to sell that's 3m and i'll put 3m here in the catalog right and i'll see that i am a see I'm allowed to sell it. If you see sell this product, select new, sell this variation. I'm allowed to sell 3M. Some are just not available. That's a whole other story, right? But you can see that I am allowed to sell uh, products of this brand, okay, as long as they're available in the first place. All right, where if you take uh, this, uh, let's see one that's the opposite situation, uh, Makita. Four require approval, zero, I'm allowed to sell. Okay, I'm allowed to sell zero of that brand. So I'm gonna paste. And what I expect to see is that I'm not able to sell this brand, and I'm correct. I'm not able to sell, it says apply to sell. Okay, select new, it says apply to sell. See that, I'm not approved, not approved to sell this brand, and I know, I could have known that from this zero allowed to sell out of four ASINs okay that is the way that you use this you can click apply to sell sometimes you can get approval based on your selling performance I'm not doing that process in this video I'm just mentioning that fact all right and that's basically how you're going to use this you'll continue checking on brands let's just look at one more Erwin tools zero allowed to sell okay how many am I allowed to sell that brand? Zero. Out of those eight ASINs that I looked at, it told me zero. Okay. And when I, in there we go. When I go to this brand, what do I see? It says apply to sell. I don't have approval to sell these brands, just as I expected. So just to show you that this does actually work. Okay. This does give you you know real concrete data on which brands you're approved to sell or not approved to sell. So go ahead and get a copy of the system and um, start using it. This is gonna help you tremendously. If you use Zorro as a supplier, then definitely get a list of these Zorro.com brands as well. Bring that into the system. Determine which brands you're allowed to sell. If you don't have Sell Assistant app yet, make sure you sign up through my link. Get a deal. Okay, so you can start using this restrictions checker. Plus, also Sell Assistant app gives you all of this uh, data on products. Okay, all this product data as you browse your products and a profit calculator where you can enter the cost okay it also enables you to save the everything that you have here you can save into a google sheet as well even the source link when you source the product okay so it's very powerful it gives you this chart it gives you all the stuff okay price history okay so assistant app 
gives you a lot of stuff in, and it's for low cost. So anyway, um, that is pretty much it. This is the brand's Asens Finder plus approval status on your brands version 1.1. Uh, comments, questions, or suggestions, contact me directly, or otherwise, I'll see you around on the channel.